Good morning. Going to the bank again. Yesterday their system was down, so I couldn't get cash for the tips because I have a delivery today. First delivery from IKEA. Okay, fingers crossed it works today. Otherwise, I'll have to go to my boss. She suggested that they can cash my check. Um, that will be the other option. Okay, fingers crossed. Just look at this color. The sky is just so clear. And the color is just fascinating. Woohoo! Their system works again, so I was able to get my cash. And the delivery guys will get it today. Good day all around. Right? And I hope you're having a good day too. Okay, the day is not that good anymore. I just got the news that my classmate was killed. She was in the army. Gosh, so young. I'm just feeling very overwhelmed right now. Fucking war, it takes the best. It takes the best. And I don't know how to process this. I don't know. Good, I have a ther my therapy in 20 minutes. It will help to process it. You know what's very surreal? That life goes on. Life goes on. Can you hear it? I'm just bringing the mic to the window. That's all that I want to listen to today. Have you ever found yourself in the moment where you just want to be in silence? And just listen to it? You know, there is a joke among filmmakers that if you behave, the sound guy will let you listen to the silence. That it's the best sound ever. And I feel a little bit overwhelmed today and numb. And that's all I want to listen to today. This. Fascinating, isn't it? I think it is. And now it's all gloomy. Very much reflects my day today. It was a good one until it wasn't.
And it really got me by the evening. It really did. I went to the office. I thought I would be a distracted work. You know, she was so young. She dreamt of having a kid. She was dreaming of having a kid after the war. She wanted to have a baby after the war. She never will. We were close when we went to school and we kind of lost connection and then thanks to the social media we were connected recently. I tried to schedule an interview with her for this project I told you before about monologues of Ukrainian women of their experience of war but we make up schedules we didn't it never worked so it's so crazy sad and scary I have another classmate in the army also a girl, we wanted to make movies together. She gave me a nickname, Spielberg. She's the only person who calls me Spielberg. Mm. I hope she stays safe. I hope she stays alive, healthy, both physically and psychologically. She's an amazing person. But gosh, this is so sad. She just had a birthday last week. And now she's gone forever. You know, this all makes you reconsider your life choices. And we can think that we have all the time in the world, when in reality, our time is so limited. I really don't like my life right now. Yeah, I don't want to live like this any longer. What if I only have a couple years left? I don't want to have these couple years being so pathetic and sad. But all I do is staying pathetic and sad.
gosh, I hope so much that this nightmare will be over soon. It's like hella north there. It feels so good to just listen to that humming sound coming from the street. My God, she was so young. And the sad part really is that the war is going for three years now and we get so numb that unfortunately we really don't feel the whole tragedy. It really becomes just another name in the long, long list of names of people who we've lost. <laughs> well, at least her mom died a year before she did. So now it's just her dad and her sister who are left. <sighs> but when this happens, it really makes you reconsider your life, your choices, your decisions. And I don't know why can't we just like why do we need something so terrible like this happen to reconsider to take another look at our own lives and our own choices So freaking sad. I hope she rests in peace. I remember I talked to her when she was in the hospital. Not now, when we tried to make an interview, maybe like a year ago. And it was the first time we talked after we were connected. And Like she told me all those, like, not all, but some of terrible things that she went through. And it is so freaking scary. After this war, the whole country will have to, to go into a huge group therapy to treat the PTSD. 
Because everybody will be so traumatized by these events. I'm sorry, it's just so sad. So very sad. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hello again. So I was sitting there feeling miserable and pathetic and sad. And I thought that the gym is still open for another hour. Why don't I use it? Okay, I believe you people, Jen makes things better, much better, really. So I did go for a run, and coming back home, and I feel much happier right now. Mission accomplished. Okay, I think it's time for me to accept the fact that I'm a night person, and yeah, just restructure my schedule to accommodate this need of me because even evening workout brought me so much joy compared to the early morning when it's always like uh i don't get the gym i don't understand this no yeah i felt pretty good after it even though it was almost 10 p.m. and then 11 when I was jogging. Mm. Yeah, why don't I go for a night bath? Hot bath with salt. And then I'll wake up at noon tomorrow. Why not? Let's give it a try. I just thought that modern schedules are not really friendly because there are people who are good in the morning. There are people who are miserable in the morning and I'm one of them. I'm miserable in the morning and I'm much more productive in the evening. And people who hire others, like hire these folks to, to come early in the morning, they're actually missing on their most productive hours. Oh, well, that's a long and, well, yeah, that's a long conversation for a different um, occasion, probably. So now, yeah, good night, everyone. I hope you're sleeping well, accepting and loving yourself. And yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.